Hi, I'm Christina and Maya from Bookworm Dreams and today we are bringing you our May TV no, wrap up, <laughs> May wrap up, not TBR, wrap up. <laughs> All right, so if you watched our May TBR, uh, you may have noticed that we did something different this month. Uh, we chose to pick each other's books and we had a little system going on. So we'll first talk about those books which we've read or we haven't read and then go on to all the other stuff that we've read. Yeah. So the first way we picked books was... What was the first way we picked books? Uh, like you pick from my stack, I pick from your stack, something like that, right? We had a TBR shelf, Goodreads shelf. Yes. Number. Number. And, and one, one of mine that you would think like. Yeah. Okay, so from my TBR shelf, you picked... Dear Evan Hansen. Yes, which I did not read. I did not get to it. It was on the purpose. Well, it kind of was. I was like, leaving it, like, I'll read it, I'll read it, and then I didn't, and mm. I, I didn't. I, I'll hopefully read it at some <laughs> point, but not today. Well, uh, and for you, I picked... You picked, actually, your own book. Oh, but yes, yes. she lent it to me, and so it, it was, was on, on my shelf. So technically, you know, it counted, and that was Solace by Gail Carriger. Uh, so she has talked a lot. I love this book. <laughs> she has talked a lot about this book. So basically, you have Alexia Tarabotti, who is soulless, as the book says. She's a twenty-six-year-old spinster. Now with the funny part. Yes, although at some point they said nineteen-year-old spinster at the beginning, but then she really? reveals that she's twenty-six. Okay. In yep. fact, but yeah, they tease her like she's. Spin oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Anyways. Uh, I give this four stars. I loved it. It was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. Uh, like the amount of uh, tabs that this has is totally like. Did you add your own is, tabs? Uh, no, I. Ended, you wrote it. I ended up reading it on my Kindle oh! because I was traveling a lot and it was easier to bring my Kindle. Uh, but I marked, I checked all of your tabs, and basically they're the same. Okay, because cool, 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 cool. cool. Anyways, so she uh, has no soul, uh, and there are vampires and werewolves, and the, there's this like a lot of sexual tension between her and the main male character, and it's uh, genius but hilarious at the same time. And I love how spunky and independent she is. And I'm totally continuing with the series. It's genius. It has five books, I think. So I have my work cut out for me. But I think I'm going to love it just the same. So that was my book and I loved it. So yeah. thank you, Maya, for choosing this. Awesome. <laughs> uh, then next we chose from our Goodreads TBR yeah. shelf. And from my Goodreads TBR shelf, she picked her Halloween treat by... You read that? I did read it. That was the first book I read uh, by Tiffany Rice. Uh, so that was the first book I read because I knew it would be a quick read. And I really enjoyed it. It was fun. We follow our main character whose name escapes me right now. Um, she uh, finds out that the boyfriend she's been seeing is married. So she uh, goes back uh, home to Oregon. She works in Hawaii. So she, go back, she goes back to Oregon for her uh, brother's wedding. And there she sort of hooks up with uh, her brother's best friend. They've known each other all together when they were younger, hang out. And uh, now, uh, you know, she's like consciously going into this, like, oh, he's my rebound. And he knows that he's he, uh, that okay. he is her rebound. So there's no, like, drama about the whole thing. Okay. So that's why it was fun. It was romantic. I gave it uh, three stars because, it's only because of the last fucking sentence, which ruined, like, just sort of dampened the entire like feeling for don't, me because it has no 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 it has like that stupid cliche thing oh, he okay. was her Halloween treat I was like oh for fuck's sake I was like okay no no but Aww. it's fun it's it's entertaining it's 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 oddly romantic I have to say oh. and it's 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 a cool read so I okay. enjoyed it so okay. thank you for <laughs> picking that one <laughs> all right. Whoa. From your TBR oh. shelf, what did I pick from? Okay, TBR so she picked an audiobook, and that oh, was yes. uh, Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Mm -hmm. She seems to pick books that are hilarious for me, and I love this one also. I also gave it four stars. Uh, so Trevor Noah is such a wonderful storyteller. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how it is when you read it in uh, like physical book format or ebook, but I listened to the audiobook. 
which he or, reads. Which he reads. Uh, he is awesome, especially the parts where he reads all of the African languages. Mm -hmm. So you get to hear it. It's really like a, an ama amazing experience. And his stories are so incredible. I sometimes forgot that this was a, <laughs> an actual story like from his childhood. Uh, so he was born and raised in South Africa. And this is basically like a bunch of stories about what happened to him during that time. And it's, some are funny. Some are funny. Some, some are, are really sad. Some are scary. There's also a lot of um, like uh, op opinions and like um, examination of what is racism, how it evolves, how it affected him uh, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of really serious topics going on among all of this hilarious stuff and there is one part which I knew about mind you because she told me about it like five times still it was one of the most hilarious things I've ever read in my life so I highly highly recommend this it's a wonderful read awesome uh, next we chose we did the number thing we need, did the number so uh, we uh, uh, each of us uh, counted the books we had and then the other had to say a number and we had yeah. to find a book so after several tries <laughs> on my part uh, we landed on Lee Child's uh, Die Trying this is book two in the Jack Reacher uh, series and in this Jack Reacher gets kidnapped with another woman called Holly and together they get like um, taken to this uh, what do you call those people in the hills like paramilitary something okay you know those people that want to like uh you, you know um i want to say secede but that's not the word i'm looking for they want to separate themselves from the Amer from the united states of america and oh, okay. sort of form their own country because you know the government boo <laughs> uh it was a it was a fun i have to say it took me longer to read than i thought it would oh, okay. because i had like a like a weird couple of weeks in the middle of the month and it, it okay. literally took me like three weeks to read this. Oh, really? And um, no, it's, 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 uh, it's fast going, it's fun. I mean, if you've seen the Reacher films, then you know what this is about. But um, it's a cool book. I gave it three stars. Um, and uh, I enjoyed reading it. And I'm going to continue with the series because Jack Reacher is a badass. The female character they had is a badass. Mm -hmm. Even though there's another female character in every book. But, you know, it's it's a cool book. Fun, fun, fun. Read. Awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, the <laughs> book uh, that Maya chose for me. And, mind you, I refused the book that has 100 pages. <laughs> I accepted this thing, which has 550. So, I didn't read it. I started it. Like, I'm like at 100 and... Just a second... 163 pages and I actually really like it mm -hmm. I was just I just didn't have the time to finish it because as you will hear later on I had like a tiny wish to read something else <laughs> which just I just had you know I was in a mood so I didn't read this but I think I'm gonna definitely finish this uh, in June because like I have to finish it mm -hmm. now that I started I have to, because it really is interesting, although some people were quite disappointed with it, but for now I'm really liking it, so there you go. Cool. And, and last thing we did was uh, each of us had to choose our own books for the other to read, so a book we read we think it likes, we think that the other person would like. So yeah. for me... And we failed at that, both of us, oh yeah. I think. Oh yeah, both of so us. <laughs> like for me she wrote, she chose her favorite book, uh, the Raven Boys, right? <laughs> By Maggie Stevewater. And um, I, uh, at the end, so I was, I have to say, honestly, I was leaving this book to, till the yeah. end, to last, because I did not, like, I did not feel like reading it. Because I sort of know what it's about. And I was like, I'm not in the mood for, like, magical realism. And magical realis realism isn't something that I, like, enjoy reading and stuff and I know they're teenagers and I know it's gonna be like teenage angsty so like I had two days left and then I like I uh, purchased the audiobook which is read by Will Patton so if you get a chance you should oh, check it out that okay. was fun and I, I listened to it in two days and <laughs> I know this is very popular and I and like 
Not all popular books are for everyone. I know, but you know, uh, it was like, oh, it's okay. Like, uh, I could not tell you if they actually did what they were supposed to do because I'm like, I may have like spaced out. Spaced out. Spaced out <laughs> at some like, did they actually find the grave or not? I know they went to a tree and they had visions. I have no idea. And um, I did not like the 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 love triangle. Because yeah, it's like, if you like one guy, why are you, uh, like... Stringing along. No, yeah, no, it's not even like that. Because she liked Adam at the beginning. And then the other guy was like, I keep saying G Gatsby. It's not Gatsby, Gatsby. Gatsby, see? Gansby. I can't even, I don't remember his name. <laughs> A so, lot of people love him. I so don't. it's like, and she's like, oh, I like Adam. He held my hand. I feel so special. But look at whatever his name is, Kenzie. Kenzie, oh, look how he did this so proficiently. Oh, there's something about his eyes. And like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I don't like love triangles. The magical realism is not really for me, but I can say I've read this. I am not sure if I'm going to continue. Maybe some, at some point, uh, it's going to be a series, right? It is. It's four books. No, the a TV oh, series. Oh, a TV show. Yeah. So I I'll watch that is. and, you know, and she'll tell me if it follows the books or not. <laughs> I have to reread them, though. Yeah, so that's it for Raven okay. Boys. Uh, how many stars did you give it? Oh, three. Okay, so... I was like, I don't want to be mean and give it like two stars, so oh. I give it three. <laughs> you could have, if that's what you felt. I know, it's, it's like, okay. like, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Maya chose for me... Uh, Vicious by V. Schwab, and I've been intending to read at least one of her books mm -hmm. for quite some time now. And I also gave this three stars. <laughs> I wasn't as impressed as everyone was. I know there was a whole, um, I can't wait to get Vengeful until it's done and stuff. And, well, you know, I'm not sure if I understand the whole excitement thing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I really, I, I enjoyed the book. I like the writing style. But technically, I hated most of the main characters. I didn't like them at all. I preferred the, the side characters, mm -hmm. uh, like um, Sydney. Oh my, Sydney, thank you. Oh my god, I'm totally forgetting names. <laughs> Sydney, Sydney, and her sister were fantastic. And oh my god, what's the big guy's name? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Anyways, I love the side characters. <laughs> Not really sure about the main characters, uh, and I actually just enjoy the side characters stories much more mm -hmm. than than the main story because the main story was kind of already set you know basically you yeah. understand what's going to happen so there's not much um tension there mm -hmm. you you are not like on your you're not you on pins sort of and needles yeah right? you you are not on pins and needles to see what's going to happen because you you know especially if you know that there's a second book so you know you know <laughs> you know and but otherwise, I mean, I liked I liked the writing style, so I'm gonna continue with the series since there's only one book. So yeah, uh, so three stars. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, it's fun. <laughs> uh, so that was the like from our main TBR. So yes, awesome Tolga. What's the word for that in English? Um, in addition to that, see, see, in addition to that, um, I've read, uh, we read Pride and Prejudice, both of us, oh, uh, right. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, sorry, by, <laughs> uh, Graham Smith something, Seth Graham Smith, we do have, um, review, review, so, is it up already? It, um, will be, at some point, I think... we will leave the links down below so yeah. you can check that out. Uh, then I read two books that are nominated for the Booktube SFF Awards. One of them was uh, for middle grade, uh, City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I gave it three books. We follow Cassidy Blake. Three uh, stars, you mean? Three, what did I say? Books. <laughs> three stars, yes. So we follow <laughs> Cassidy Blake. And uh, sh after an accident she had uh, when she was younger, she's still young because she's 12, um, she can see ghosts now. And she sort of helps them like move on from this world. And uh, her parents don't know this. But they are also like ghost hunters. They are filming a show during the summer in Edinburgh oh, okay. to like hunt ghosts and you know take Cassie along and her uh, a ghost friend and the two of them get into a lot of trouble. And it was a fun and interesting read. I will continue, but you know it wasn't like ooh, like so. I gave it three stars. And the second book I read for the book to SF award, which I did not like. This was for I think fantasy book, Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which is very popular, and I okay. gave it two stars because I kept. I was so annoyed, but the whole thing, 
because first of all, the Fae were too fucking evil. Everybody was too fucking evil. You have like a like it's not a love triangle. It's a, a it's a love square sort of thing, <laughs> and you have two twin sisters. One of them is. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I spoil this for you? Are you gonna read this? No. So spoils for the cruel Everyone. prince, right? So you have two twin sisters, Jude and the other one. So the other one has a boyfriend, a secret boyfriend. And that secret boyfriend keeps pursuing Jude. And then the two of them sort of hook up. And she knows that they are going to be together. And she knows that, that guy is going to ask her to like marry or whatever, Faye marry him or some shit. And, but he still goes for this one. And she's so confused because the cruel prince, the guy, he is like the meanest 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 person ever and he's like i'm doing this because i like you i'm like fuck you man so i was so annoyed like i kept like hate reading it the entire time I'm like i have to know what happens because uh in the end she totally fucks everybody over and uh, and uh it just it's just okay i'm not gonna read the sequel because i'm like i don't like this world i don't like this kind of fae i know generally fae are supposed to be like uh, like um on the dark side they're supposed okay. to be like mean and shit but it was like Fucking too mean for me. And so, okay. no. <laughs> and what have you read? <laughs> so, I participated in Bingothon this uh, month. Cool. Well, we both <laughs> tried. I did. She failed. Yeah, I completely <laughs> failed with that one. But uh, I had really, I had a lot of fun with it. So, I read, uh, wait a second, what was it called? Um, Once in Future. Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I gave it three stars. Uh, I did DNF'd. I, I, I gave it three stars. She DNF'd it. Yeah. Um, basically, for me, I just had a lot of fun because it was really, like, flowing. The writing was really, like not difficult at all and the storyline was in general just i don't know it was quite fun it had enough looking arthur elements to make it you know like familiar but it had enough other elements to not make it Boring. the entire yeah just the entire story just that mm -hmm. so yeah i quite i quite enjoyed it it's not like the best thing ever but I just had fun with it. I didn't take it too seriously, and I just really like enjoyed myself reading it. I I don't know what to say about it besides <laughs> that. I, I'm just like I had fun. For me, it was a bit too convenient. <laughs> like okay, like I, yeah. you know, oh look, there's Arthur, and his bro her brother is whatever the guy's name is. Oh, his Hi. friend is Percival. I and think. Her, their, like, love thing is Gwen Guinevere, and then, you know, like, whatever, man, it's like, okay. I, I think I, I don't think I could get, I just couldn't get into it, and it was like, ugh, I don't care. <laughs> and then I stopped. Okay, I, actually, in, in this book, I also quite like the side characters more than ac the actual, like, yeah, main characters. Happen, so, yeah, but, okay. And the second book I read for this uh, readathon is Therapy by Sebastian... Sebastian Fitzek, and oh my god, that was so awesome. Was it? Yeah. So is she actually, no, what was it? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on. No, I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling you off screen. Okay. So I gave this four and a half stars just because it reminded me a lot of uh, Shutter Island and um, what okay. the other one called with um, Leo DiCaprio and the thingy. Uh, Inception. And Inception. So it really reminded me of that. Otherwise, the writing was fantastic. I had a note, like a, like a small paper. I had a million theories about what was going on and mm -hmm. I couldn't... Uh, did you guess? I did guess, mm -hmm. but it didn't ruin the thing for me of because course. this whole story was so interesting it had a lot of layers the characters were really well developed mm -hmm. you really understood their motivation and like um i don't know i just loved it it's a really good exploration of mental health too mm -hmm. so i just enjoyed so this is about oh, the dude yeah. that so a girl a woman who has schizophrenia right so okay there's a, a dude a, prof uh, a doctor mm -hmm. whose uh, daughter has gone missing during uh, one of her treatments. So nobody knows where she is. 
So he goes to this island where he meets a schizophrenic uh, woman who has visions. Like she writes books and her characters uh, come back, uh, are brought to life. And uh, basically she is asking him to treat her because he's uh, specialized in uh, uh, schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. And he, he basically refuses, but his, her story is uh, triggering for him. Mm -hmm. So he inadvertently actually starts um, helping her. And you go on from there. If I say anything else, I'm gonna totally spoil everything. So I'm sorry I can't say anything. Okay. But you I enjoyed truly it, I enjoyed it. Yes, I I found the, the storyline, the writing, everything was fantastic. Okay. Uh, so the last book I read in May was my car book. <laughs> so uh, I've been listening to an audiobook in my car when I drive. I have a car book. I have a car book right now also. So um, I was listening to Naomi Novik's, I forget what the name, Blood of Tyrants. This is book eight in the Temeraire series. So I can't really tell you stuff. I can only say that... Uh, dragons! Dra dragons <laughs> and the Napoleonic Wars. And now we are in the Russian part of those. So okay. uh, Temeraire with his captain... By the way, there was like an amnesia thing at the beginning. I was like, no, but everything resolved itself, thankfully. Um, so uh, Temeraire and uh, his friends and a bunch of Chinese dragons go to Russia to help the Russians fight Napoleon. Okay. And that's all I can say. Okay. And now the last book I read. I'm lying. I have 20 more pages. But <laughs> we're... We're counting we're, it. We're counting, we're counting it. Because we're filming on the day that I'm going to finish it. So we're counting it. So, it is 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. Uh, this came out in January of this year. Mm -hmm. And I read some Goodreads reviews. A lot of people hate it. Okay. I like it very much. What's it about? So, this is basically a story about this very angsty, cynical, uh, rude 26-year-old with a heart condition. Girl or boy? Girl. Okay. Uh, that uh, Who is like renovating she's not really renovating her grandmother's house mm -hmm. but she's in the middle of a renovation and the renovation is done by her like childhood friend that she basically um she orgasms every time she sees him like for real or in her head like basically in her okay. in her head but uh, and okay uh and she's in love with him and all that stuff. you know it's a rom romance no basically and she has a twin brother with with which uh, with which with whom with, with whom? whom she has a really unexplained and like weird relationship. But I I just I find the tension between the friend and, and the girl uh, be, be, between the friend and the girl so good that I don't care about anything else basically. Okay, that's cool. Although I see that her. Entire behavior is very problematic and nobody should ever act like that and should be like very much like go t to therapy and like <laughs> deal with their stuff. Like both her and her brother and even the main, the main love interest. Yeah, he also has some issues that he really has to deal with. But like aside from all the bad char char character flaws there are there, I just love the tension and I'm seriously in the mood for some like I don't care how bad romance just romance with some sexy scenes in it and this has that so yeah I think I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna overdo it I think I'm gonna give it three stars <laughs> so 20 pages until the end I think I'm still at three stars but I'm really enjoying it so, so they hook up already yeah okay I mean, you know, they hook up eventually, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. And, yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was our main uh, wrap-up. I'm going to TBR again. <laughs> so, um, if you've uh, read some of the books that we've read, please do talk to us down below if you agree with our opinions or not. Uh, if you want us to check out your t uh, wrap-ups, again, I said TBR, but that's okay. Please leave <laughs> the links down below. Uh, and, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.